Well, did you know your New York driver's license is made by a company based in England, or that a new company from Canada may soon take over at an extra cost of $38 million? How about that the pictures will be in black and white? Now, how does this happen? Nobody investigates like News Force Al Vaughters. The state DMV notified bidders the next company to print driver's licenses will have to tighten its belt. But the DMV then awarded the contract to an Ottawa-based company whose bid was about $38 million higher than the lowest bid offered by the company that's been printing the licenses for the last 16 years. State lawmakers, including Senator Mark Grisanti, are outraged. If it's an overbid, unacceptable considering the problems we have with uh, Hurricane Sandy, the devastation that we see on the eastern seaboard. Uh, we need every penny that we can get to help out the victims of Hurricane Sandy. Senator Grisanti questions the DMV's choice for other reasons. Drivers' pictures on the new licenses would be in black and white, which some say would make the images easier for forgers to duplicate. With New York one of only four border states whose enhanced driver's licenses can be used in place of a passport, Homeland Security might have a problem with the black and white pictures. With the contract going to a Canadian firm, Senator Grisanti told us he's sponsoring legislation that would slow down this kind of outsourcing. You, know, you look at local hire first, you look at local companies first. If it's not local, somewhere else in the state. But at least this way you give companies in the state an opportunity to do this. And Grisanti wonders why a homegrown company like Kodak, with more than 100 years in the imaging business, couldn't retool to turn out driver's licenses. That has the workforce, that has the imaging, that has the ability to probably duplicate a driver's license uh, just as easily as a company in Canada that's over that's over uh, uh, bidding, or the company right now that's doing it that has its principal office in England. The British space company that put up the lowest bid and a third bidder based in Massachusetts are suing the DMV, accusing the state agency of following arbitrary guidelines in the awarding of the contract. We've also confirmed state controller Thomas DiNapoli's office is reviewing the bids and the $90 million contract. Al Waters for the 10 o'clock news.